Welcome back to the Blue Garage. I am Greg. There is Big Blue, and we are standing in what will be the Blue Garage once it's all said and done. Right now, we have three coats of paint finished on the ceiling and two coats on the walls. So right now, what I'm gonna focus on is doing a little trim work and add a little airflow, get some air moving in here by throwing up a ceiling fan. Then down the road, what we're looking at is doing the floors and some trim around the baseboards as well. So we got some things uh, that, we're, that we've got to get done, but ultimately we're making some progress in here as we are waiting on many other projects around our house to get done. As you see here, we are waiting on some concrete to get poured, widening the driveway, getting the walkway put into the side of the house, widening the driveway on both sides. So we got the trash cans all up front just because of that. But projects, 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 guys, bear with me. There hasn't been too much truck content lately, but there will be more coming soon. Priority is getting us situated in our new house that we just moved into in July. So again, part two, I'm gonna do some uh, fast forwarding or some time-lapse videos, installing the ceiling fan above and doing the trim up top, which is already painted as you see, painted to match the ceiling. As you guys can see, ceiling fan is up, but what I missed out and I didn't e explain, and I'm gonna include this portion at the very beginning of my video, which you'll see, Shut off the power first. I did not make that mistake. I just did not include that in my instructions or my steps on how to. So enjoy as I install this fan. issue where I had to get that rubber fitting this little piece right here back in it's pretty simple I just had to dislocate everything right here and then I that reminds me I gotta tighten these bolts and then I just squeeze that rubber housing back in next step if you look up top 
There's a little ring where the paint peeled off a little bit, no big deal. I'm gonna sand that down real quick and repaint that. Let that dry and I will get back to hanging up the ceiling fan. Just sanded it down. Should have recorded, but you guys know how to sand. So just sanding it down, just gonna put a couple coats on it to uh, make it look nice. I'm gonna do the wiring now. So I already unscrewed this from the bracket, as you see those two holes. Uh -huh. The top is alive, the neutral and the ground. So coming, oh, there goes the bolt, no big deal. I'll get that. So the ground, let me see if I'm showing you right properly. So they just slide right in and then they have a flathead screwdriver that tightens them in, locks them into place and then I'm gonna bolt it back up. I figured it'd be a whole lot easier working with those flat head screws separately uh, while this is loose and more maneuverable. And then I'll get the ceiling fan up. Next step, we have to put the notch of the fan into the actual bracket. Pretty simple, there's a groove that sticks out here and it goes right in the notch. Pretty self-explanatory, it'll line right up. Then we're gonna plug in our remote receiver, which I've already hardwired, I'll show you in a minute. It's gonna plug in, as you see here, to the fan and from the ceiling, which I've already hardwired and then we are good to secure the fan. So let me take you right back up here and show you one more time. Starting from the top, working your way down, you have the live wire, the neutral, and then the ground. I screwed those in, and then they're gonna just come right out on this side. This is gonna go to the receiver. These two lines are gonna go to the ceiling fan, and then looking down at the ceiling fan, there's these two green long lines again, right there and right here. This end will plug into our remote or the receiver, as will this end, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Now that we got the ceiling fan up, all I have to do is come over to my breaker box, turn my breaker back on. There we go. I hit it twice, so it went one way and then the other. Looks good. Six different speeds on here. Lights working. The light actually has a dimmer as well. There, it's set into place. That's the highest speed. As you see here, the remote's pretty fancy. You have timers on there, one, four, and eight hours. This specific fan, it also partners up with Amazon Alexa and your Google Home, which is nice. I don't ever intend to use it in that way, but it's a nice feature to have if you want. But yeah, everything's operated right on here. Light off. Hitting. I guess that dims it, so let me light off is that center button. Pretty self-explanatory for that, but 
Shoes up, we got some airflow in the garage now and a couple more projects that we'll be working on with the trim here as well. So we'll get to that. Started. I wanted to test it because I've zero experience with this and it's very easy you could do it yourself I'm just using three quarter inch quarter round trim here it's easier to see it on the floor here that we've painted to match the ceiling we bought eight foot length um, trim pieces and we're gonna match those up up on the ceiling and uh, do the trim the entire way around so as you see here I've just butted up two pieces in the corner. All that's gonna do is take away some of the imperfections with the trim or with the paint, but also give the ceiling a more depth or give the ceiling more depth, um, which is gonna pan out more whenever I throw up my LED lights in the future. So enjoy. <music> Two days later, finishing up the trim, all I have left is from right here all the way around to right there. Oh, I'm not even pointing. Right there. So as you guys can see, I by far am not a carpenter, but I think I made some pretty good corners in some spots. Kind of like that really little one right above me. And then I made some pretty bad corners like this one up here. Now I'm gonna over, at the end of the day, I'm gonna touch these all up, get them all finished with caulk. make it look as good as possible and then paint over it. So uh, I will show that finishing touch in an upcoming video. The ceiling fan, I believe, was the biggest accomplishment in my opinion. The uh, trim does seal up and get rid of some imperfections, so to speak. But ultimately, the ceiling fan makes it much cooler in here. I am still sweating my butt off with the uh, garage door open, but it's only 90 degrees in my garage. It's about 95, 97 outside. So the fan does significantly help, obviously, just getting that airflow. So it's, it's a work in progress, guys. We're getting there. So if you made it this far, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for, for tuning in to part two 
of building the blue garage. We got more to come along with the floor and other amenities, so to speak, for the garage. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time.